right, let's take some questions here. Um, Nigel, thanks for being a patron, Nigel. He says, what would you recommend when prayer is dry for an extended period of time? Is it more important to show up and just honor the time? Or should I be doing something different to try to get out of the rut? Well, it's uh, I can imagine three different scenarios with uh, three different answers to that question. So maybe I'll just uh, throw a few out and he can... Uh, where whatever one fits, but uh, certainly persevere. I, I think the very simple guidance of St. Ignatius in his um, first week rules of discernment that in a time of spiritual desolation, don't change your spiritual plan. So if God wants you to do something different, he'll inspire you to do something different. Don't start shifting everything around to try and uh, catch the mm. the right wave. Uh, second thing to consider is sometimes prayer is dry because there are things we don't want to bring to prayer. So it's like God is only willing to talk to us about one thing, and we're determined to not show him that part of our life. And uh, and maybe that's the very fact that prayer is difficult, and I need to express that. Or like we were talking about earlier, just being willing to say, oh, gosh, I've been at this, I've been a monk for 23 years, and I feel like I don't know how to pray. That's very humbling. And sometimes that's the thing I need to bring up and look at that. Mm. Well, why do I feel like I ought to know how to pray? And is there a dimension of pride there that I need to face? And mm. can I just accept that in the end, I'm a little child and I'm always going to be one and I need a father and I just need to surrender to that. Anyway, sometimes there is a kind of interior thing. And Ignatius says the same thing. Don't change the external, like mm -hmm. going to prayer. Change the internal. See if there's something you're not bringing up or or just try to meditate, praise God in a certain way, some suitable penance or, uh, you know, one of these ways, uh, just, or just asking God for help. Lord, I, it's dry, help me. Mm. Um, so I think that's, uh, yeah, certainly, certainly persevere. I mean, uh, and again, you can get into all of the things, but I mean, it could be a, a night of the senses in a, in a deeper way. I like to, as we were talking about the conceptualist versus the experiential language, uh, these, these knights of St. John of the Cross have gotten all of this kind of mystical quality to them. Oh, the, oh the, the magical knights. But in a very basic way, it's running into the limit of ourselves. It's, and, and it may be precisely the experience that our, mm. our, our questioner is going through is, is sort of hitting the limits of what his own efforts can produce. Like John of the Cross is the path of nada, right? Not say nada. I know nothing. I know nothing. I know nothing. Yeah, ultimately, when we reach the limits of ourselves, we can only transcend those by walking in that disorienting space of not knowing what's going on mm. and walking in the, but the, the silent love of, of his presence. Mm. Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell, and that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.